as light fail, <sighs> I can't read. As light rain falls without reason. Looks like a very creative fish tank. We got new dev notes. Increase the artifact inventory limit. New battle pass. What? Oh, it's about time that happened. How many? How many years has it been with just those? The black sword, solar pearl. Done. All right. August second. Discussion. I like these. New. All right. So artifacts. We've been following all kinds of feedback from travelers about artifacts as one of the most important game development experiences. <laughs> Developers will carry out optimizations in the future. After the version 4.0 update, travelers will be able to experience the following content. Uh, artifact and inventory limit increase from, or to 1800 from 1500. See, why not Why not just go 2000, you know? I'll take it, but why not just go, you know, just 2K, just from there, nice and even. And oh, yep, so it's true, yeah, absolutely true. As we expected. Eight artifact sets can be exchanged with the added mystic offering and a crafting bench. So tenacity, I like how Pale Flame is big. <laughs> Pale Flame, because it's uh, not, not that much text. Shimanawas, wow, that, that looks crazy. To see Shimanawas an emblem in the strong box. That looks, that just looks wrong. Emblem Severed Fate, Husk, Ocean Clam, Vermilion, and Echoes. I'd say Emblem and Shimanawas is definitely huge, although I guess that, no, that's good, because then you can farm the new like Fontaine sets and then strong box those. Or whatever you need. I mean, if tenacity, I need heavily. People want husk. They don't want to deal with the ocean clan one. They can do that. And then an Ejao or Ayato means you're good to go. Vermilion and Echoes. So yeah, that's huge. The destruction function of artifacts in your inventory will be optimized where you can add four star artifacts at once. Oh, nice. That's good for like a... Yeah, I mean, honestly, people... Yeah, if you artifact farm like heavily, that actually could be... What you would do although i'd probably just funnel that into another artifact but more optimizations for artifacts are currently in plans uh here we would like to share some thoughts with you so uh locking of artifacts the dev team has been looking for ways to reduce the constant managing artifacts and improve your experience we will optimize the locking function in the future allowing travelers to lock artifacts they want more easily i mean it's, it's already kind of easy the way it is but uh ooh, equipping artifacts. Uh oh. Regarding the current cumbersome process, <laughs> yeah, sure. Cumbersome process of equipping artifacts. We are currently discussing a new plan to help travelers select and equip artifacts as quickly as possible. We're in the midst of discussing specific plans for the above optimizations. Once the details are confirmed, we will reveal them in the detail and subsequent developer discussions. So that's probably the best news I've heard yet, alongside the new Battle Pass weapons. Nice. Regarding the current cumbersome process of equipping artifacts. Like, I mean, and, and this is such a, you know, like, minuscule thing. Like, it's a big thing, but in terms of, like, what it would take, it's just, like, menu options, you know? Like, it's not like we want, like, we're asking for free stuff, or we're asking for you to do this or do that. It's just, like... You know, it's just menu stuff. So, yeah, I'm very happy to finally see somebody at least, like, you know, putting attention towards it. Either early Fontaine or maybe a little bit later, we'll actually get some kind of, maybe not artifact classes, but just something to make it easier. Because right now, it's like the, the little face you have to find, and then, you know, every single artifact has to be switched. So, yeah, that's, that's huge news right there. I'm glad to hear that. New content preview. Next, we'll share some new content in version 4.0 with you. Let's take a look. So, new Battle Pass weapons. They're now... T oh, so they're keeping the old ones and the, the new ones, too. Okay. Ten types of weapons that can be selected from the Battle Pass bounty. After unlocking the No Stick Him and reaching level 30, you can select one of the weapons of reward. We'll introduce the details of the new weapons via official information in the future. Hmm. That's about time, man, because we've had, you know... The Black Sword, Solar Pearl, and all that stuff for, what, almost three years now? A new Genius Invocation TCG function, Observe Duel. Travelers can view the current Genius Invocation TCG match when their friends are co-op team screen. You could just, like, <laughs> spectator mode for TCG. You could just, like, spy on somebody's match. <laughs> That's funny. 
That's kind of cool, though. That's a, that's a neat little feature. It'd be funny if you hit the button as soon as it's over, and then it's just, like, immediately done. And that's cool, too, because that reminds me of, like, the Xbox 360 days of, like, when it would actually say what you're doing instead of just they're online, you know? So it actually says, like, in, you know, TCG Duel. Or, like, you know... It'd be cool if it said, like, you know, doing Spiral Abyss or, you know, any open world or whatever. Doing Archon Quest. I like that if it, like, specified uh, what the person was doing. Because it's kind of it's kind of cool to, to see that. Just, like, get an idea of, like, what somebody's in. So you don't, like, just join them. That's, like, you, you can't join them. You can select whether you want to allow others to view to duel through the settings. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'd put, I'd put mine on. Adds gyroscope controller support on some platforms what gyroscope controller support and related thing settings have been added to pc ps4 and ps5 huh no phone i mean a phone already has the gyro capability in it but i guess not details detailed rules will be found in the version 4.0 update okay so we'll know more about that in the live stream friday like, like, what's in Genshin that would allow you to use gyroscope? Noise. I don't know. Maybe you got, like, some new thing happening in the game? Oh, that's right. Yeah, the puzzle you shoot balloons. Yeah, any, like, aiming scenario. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I could see that, yeah. It should have said, uh, you can now... We now support PlayStation Move. <laughs> Whatever happened to that? I think it's still a thing. New chapter of Adventure Fontaine. Ooh, do I want to read this? Alchemy version travelers will head to Fontaine, the nation of justice. Uh, Fontaine encompasses vast areas of open water with the blessing of the transoceanic source water. Transoceanic source water. You can freely traverse the depths and explore the unique scenery of Fontaine. Before you embark on your adventure, we have two adventure tips to share. Uh, after 4.0 version update, Pia completed the Archon Quest in Mondstadt, a teleport waypoint in Sumeru's realm of uh, Farakurt, will unlock automatically. That's actually a nice quality of life change. You'll be able to use this uh, quickly to arrive near Fontaine. Yeah, that actually is nice. I think it would be cool to have a teleport in each region. Just so you can get there, like, because they know it's going to be, you know, you get new characters, and if you happen to join the game when you pick up, you know, Raiden Shogun, it's like, oh man, I can't get to Inazuma yet. But that's cool. At least you can get to Fontaine. If you wish to advance in Fontaine's storyline, I recommend you complete the Archon Quest Chapter 3 at, or, oh, Carry Bear? So they don't care if you don't finish Liyue or Inazuma. Oh, I guess you need, you need to finish that to get to that anyways, right? Yeah. But weird how they want you to do that one specifically. Hmm. The multi-layered map will officially be able... Oh, okay. We saw this earlier, yeah. This, 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 is, this is in the uh, the last developer's talk. Multi-layered map will be officially uh, available after, for, for, eh. after version 4.0. Travelers can use it to better understand the terrain of the area. You're into it with ease. In addition to Fontaine... The multi-layered map function will also be updated in some existing areas. More information about Fontaine will be introduced in the version 4.0 special program. Nice. Stay tuned. So yeah, the last time we saw this, it was supposed to be... It was mostly for the desert area, where it was like really annoying to like know what was above ground and below ground. They added the teleports, so you can see a little symbol. But now they're going to actually show the underground, which is cool. This was probably very timely because... We're going underwater, so you're probably going to have to have, like, some kind of multi-layered map to showcase what's there and what's not, because it's going to be really confusing if you're underwater and you can't see where you're going. And finally, have thoughts on the future. With the release of the new version, travelers will get to explore some of the new content. The dev team has also noticed the current daily commission mechanics are not flexible enough. Hmm. I'd love to share uh, here that the relevant optimizations are currently in the pipeline. When the time comes, travelers will be able to obtain daily rewards in a new format. Hmm. We will introduce the details to you in future discussions. Nice. We'll be able to obtain daily rewards in a new format. So no more Catherine? Oh no. Maybe maybe Catherine and the new thing, but 
Yeah, maybe maybe no more Catherine. No more applesauce. All Star Rail, you just like you just hit this button and you know you just get your commissions. You're done. And that's all folks. Nice. Like that. If we gather new development insight, we'll be sure to take down notes and share them with you in time. If you have any thoughts or feedback, you can also send them to us through channels within the within and outside the game. That was uh yeah. I this first comment, I agree. This is like so important. I'm glad that we, we get stuff like this, honestly. That was probably one of the best ones we've gotten in a while. Of just like developer talk. So yeah, so a little little recap there. Artifact increase from 1500 to 1800. We're getting a crap ton of artifacts. All the before Sumeru artifacts. Uh, four star option to get rid of the artifacts. And supposedly artifact classes soon, possibly. Uh, you can observe people's TCG match. And teleport near Fontaine, which looks like yeah, this is the, this is the newer area too, so that's that's interesting. I guess there'll be a way con that connects it to Fontaine. Do your carry bay quest, multi layered maps, and daily commission improvements. Are you know what? Are they finally like catching up with Star Rail, <laughs> or at least almost? Are they fi are they? Is the Star Rail team finally like stepping in and whispering like some tips over to the, the Genshin team? <laughs> well, there you have it, and like they said. That's all, folks.